Ang topic na to tonight is really more about inspiration, no? How Fibo became a millionaire at 22 years old. Try to imagine 22 anos na achieve na, na niya. Huwag ka naghanan sa to kay pangandoy pa lang na ma-achieve na siya while sa iyahan na-achieve na niya. So it would be better for us to listen to someone na na-achieve na niya at ang gusto mahitabo para na at a little bit of shortcut, no? Kung sa iyang naagihan, makatuon ta and we can implement it sa itong kaugalingong kinabuhi, sa itong finance perspective ba, or sa negosyo. Siguro to start with, Pibo, every, uh, ako personally, naman ko yung idea kung sa iyong mga, mga experiences, sa iyong background, but for the 800, 800 plus people who's watching us right now, and ang muta na sa replay, sa mga taong nili maka-attend, they would also like to know your background. No? So let's start with that. With that. So what's your background ba? In general, as as what Jan said, no na. By the way, this is the first time na I was invited for an interview. So pwede ko magbisaya. So finally, <laughs> like, <laughs> alam mo, like for the how many years I've been invited for interviews. Pirmi ko tagalog and kana bitaw ng gahe kita magtagalog. Yung ano yung ganon eh. and then they laugh at my accent like what what kung himo. <laughs> Anyways, so as what Jan said na insiko, but Okay, there are two ter- stereotypes kasi sa INSEC. No? Number one is negosyante. Okay? Uh, unfortunately, akong parents, dili sila negosyante. So I was not taught to how to start the business and all of those things. No? They were employees all their lives and that's the mindset that, that they have given to me. Na if you want to become you know, successful in life, you have to go to school, study hard, have good grades, and be able to find a high-paying and stable job. And in fact, sabi, ana, my, my dad keeps on telling me, oy, pag, uh, pag magnulia na, pasok ka sa Nestle or sa San Miguel or whatever, big brands na. Um, so, wala ko sa negosyante na side. Kung baga, wala, wala, na, wala ko gitluan sa kong parents para magnegosyo. However, na second type, no? Ang uh, second type na insik is morning kuripot no mga tihik kana no so tihik gyud word because akong dad kana bitong di ko ma explain kana bitong uh, ginagmay ah, ay na lang for example mo palit mig take out no kanang bisag mga sudlanan pana sa mga whatever no sudlanan sa mga pagkaon iyan hipuso kaya magamit pana kana mga plastic na fork and spoon and fork o hugasan na kay magamit pana nga nakatihik no so ara ko na side and i i grew up yun na murag ah tihik 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 so murag katawan gi sa mga friends kay um tihik ko <laughs> kana bitaw ko an mag mungumpyot jugo ba so you know when i grew up um I felt na I had a different purpose yun, no? So, I was already selling some stuff na, like, na maligya ko mga junk food, na maligya ko whatever. Um, and I was just doing it for fun. I was having fun, no? Uh, but to make the long story short, in college, na-invite ko sa Osaka Network Marketing, no? And then, ato yung open ako mind. Kaya ato ko mas nakasabot, like, wow, kanang naganig opportunity. Yung ani din mo think ang mga dato, ang mga pubri, whatsoever. Ang ani din ang mindset sa mga dato, yung ana. Um, from there, um, I built my network. Uh, that's how I earned my first six figures uh, in my life. So, during that time, manggod, kanang, un- I-, I-, I made some money, but I was uncomfortable, yun ba, sa pamaagi sa network marketing. I had to talk to my friends. And introvert ko, so, Usually, my introverts, wala kayo friends. Gamay ra kayo. <laughs> so, di para may extrovert, extrovert na, marag bisikinsa lang ng friend niya. So, ako, wala kayo yung network, kayo kakasturyaan. So, I had to talk to strangers. I had to look for new prospects every single time. And, you know, that was something na I wasn't really happy with doing ba. Um, so, what I did is, I used that money. I invested that in another business, ang traditional business ko. So, uh, mo ng time nga nag, nagtukod ko water station. Kaya anak ko nga, okay, tanang tao, mo magtubig, di na ako mamaligya. Okay? But uh, to make the long story short, murag, gamay, gamay mo kayo ang kita. So anak ko nga, dugi pa mo na ako mabawi. Uy. So I realized na, diligid yung worth so my effort. Um, and ako pa yung nangalsa. Uh, naka, uh, fun na gigito, fun na gigito because um, Katoto ang time nga uh, nauso ang Grab nga bago pa ni Sudang Grab tapos free ang funny ka. I think I've never shared this. Na free ang ride, mag free 100. Na wa mo koy sakyanan, wala koy transpo. So alsa jud ko. So uh, pala magpa-deliver ana, alsa jud ko. Uh, libre man ang Grab. So book ko, book ko Grab, 
Sakay na akong tubig. Oh, dara lang unahan, boss. Oh, libre man. So, di ba, less 100 pa to. That was my transpo. And then, the reason why I stopped kay, ni, ni, na na may bayad ang grab from one, less 100, 50 na niya. Na may bayad. So, murag, what na? <laughs> Lugi na ako. So, ano ka pagkuha niya? So, murag, did you use your words akong time? Uh, yeah, it's gonna take me forever to return my investments. I decided to close it down. And, <laughs> nalugi, you go back to zero. No? Um, muna, nisood ko into different opportunities no? na maligya ko insurance um, na maligya uh, na dumdum yung mga to coffee shop ko uy basta kay na train man ko sa network marketing na na mag mag strangering so ano ko mo na kung asset oh, ta, baligya ko insurance uh, wa man condo sa go baligya ko condo no kung uh, oh, um, akong network marketing man gud sa una uh, 3 uh, 4000 ang package no na, na maligya ko condo sa mall mga 2m siguro to ano ko nga So, may nga mo pala 2M, wala mo pala ito 4,000 gani nga package nyo, 2 million pa ka. So, in short, nag-liso, you go, no, og, og sell, no. I was jumping from business to business, na maligya ko grillo, na maligya ko t-shirt, online, um, and, oban, mo kita gamay, dili kaya po, it, it's not really something na, I really made a lot of money, ba. So, um, I, ch- I kept on jumping from one thing to another and I believe nung yung ang ang, ang mga tao nga nananaw karon mo sa ninyong pananaw na I'm ju- I just have to makachamba lang ko mapunta ko aning usa ka vehicle or aning business and madato na ko it's not that I realize na no matter what business you are in no you na one skill na di you dapat mawala it should be there that is what you call marketing and selling so sa anak ko sa self when I learned marketing and selling anak ko if I had if I'll go back kwasa ko before, I would be successful in all of them because I know how to market and sell na. Kato nga tayo, wala d'yo ko'y alam. Like, for example, namaligyan ko grillo, ni post ko, ko, uy, kanang, uh, I, I thought na that the key was to be the cheapest. Uy, 400 na lang. Comment below. Oh, wala comment. Na doa ka likes. Ako, huwag ako mama. <laughs> like, so, tapos ni message ko nga, pwede hangyo. Kung nga siya hangyo nga, barato naman na. Marag, ah, it was, it was crazy and, um, Uh, to make the long story short, no, uh, I discovered a way on how to market online. Um, nag nag search mo Google for, uh, nag search ko how to make money online. I I went into personal finance and all of these things, and then I stumbled through uh, an ebook, and then I I I I tawagan ni kanang nag uh, nag register ko, nag give ko sa kong name and email, no, and then nakar receive ko email. Um, like day day one, day two, day three. Ano ko kuya wani? And this guy was selling me insurance. Now, to make the long story short, I bought that insurance. Um, ano ko wow? Kuya wao good. Like this guy sold me insurance, but I don't know who this person is. And that's when I messaged this person. Ano ko nga? Do you have a training? Can you teach me how to do this? And then he ha he kanang referred me to a training and then mona that's how, how all it started i started to learn about it during that time wala koy products to sell so i just uh, sold other people's products this is what you call affiliate marketing um so i was selling other people's products and making a commission in return so focus na ko sa marketing sila na fulfill and then i was doing this until i made my first six figures and then one million no From that, I started expanding, selling physical products, selling digital products, selling softwares, and all of these things. And uh, after I, you know, expanded, okay, during that time, I was 22 years old. I made my first million. Um, akong tungod tihik ko, okay, akong living expenses was below 10,000 a month. So if you compute that, I could live for years. <laughs> so so during that time, I was happy na. I, I Akong goal is not to become like a billionaire. Akong goal is just to be free. Okay? And that was like freedom. Yun. Uh, kaya, uh, imagine, dugi ka mahurot. Dugi ka mahurot. Akong savings. So, anak sa self na, um, unsa man akong, what, what would be the one thing that I would be doing even if, I, I'll, I'll still be doing it even if I'm not getting paid. Kung maga, I want to retire now and what reta- what would be my retirement job? Mm-hmm. And during that time, na-inspire mang gugo sa mga speakers, no? Sila Peng Jun, sila Chinkitan, sila Bo Sanchez. So, ano ko, I want to be like them. So, eto, I want to share this as well. Yung that's nga story. I don't usually share this to a lot uh, of people, no? So, timing mang good na during, during uh, back then, people were also asking me how to market online, yung anana. Ano? Sorry, na-advance ako, ana. Um, Uh, 
yon i want to become a speaker so yun yung yun, mo na akong mo na akong uh, ganahan so nag-apply ko og mga uh, tawag gani eh, mga companies mga schools okay imagine a 22 year old applying to a school or a, or a whatever to become a speaker or a company to become a speaker nangayo sila sa kong resume ano ko ako resume ko ako experience do you think they would hire me of course not okay so time niyo magod at nga time is nangota na po ako mga friends about you know marketing online so ano ko nga what if kanin nalang ko itudlo like how I want to become a speaker and akong skill is marketing so like why don't I speak and teach about marketing and since no one wanted to hire me I told myself na ganun ko mas speaker like mojo niya kung life dream so I hired myself <laughs> so I decided to conduct my own event um ako nagran ng ads and then sa day of the event ako nag-arrange sa chair ako nag-book sa hotel ako naglimpyo ako nag-arrange sa ID ako pa speaker <laughs> ako tanan It's because wala Siyempre, I don't know if this will succeed eh. And I just want to fulfill my passion good of speaking. This is my first time speaking. It's very, very funny because I remember I took a selfie and ako nga, finally, speaker na ko. Like, no one wanted to hire me, so I heard myself. And it was um, the greatest moment good of my life. Kay Murag, I realized good na kung, if you want to become successful, don't wait for opportunities. You create opportunities. no? And that's what happened. No, I did not wait for people to get me. I hired myself. So I ran my own ads and like, uy, I wanna, I'm gonna have a seminar and um, that's how it all started. And up until now, I still really love what I do. It's something, it's a passion. Good timing lang yun na um, I, love, I love to become a speaker. I also love marketing as well um, and like timing. And, and that's how like I was able to build my brand, helping entrepreneurs market and sell their products and services online. Ayun. <laughs> Grabe ang experience. Medyo mahaba sa story. <laughs> so, to, to, to sum it up, you went through network marketing. You also tried to sell different products like insurance products, relo, yeah. at the same time, mga condos. And yeah. because of those experiences na, na open ang imuhang mind that there's more to it than just what you're experiencing back then. Kung baga, unsa ang imuhang mindset, it grew, ni dako pa siya, ni expand ang imuhang opportunities. Yeah. So, ang isa pud sa ano, isa pud sa mga questions manggo na madawat namo sa sa isa among community is that pertaining to network marketing, na adoy nag-invite yeah. nila to join network marketing yeah. or yeah. tapos they find the products to be good or unsa bay dapat i-consider when it comes to network marketing. And and the good thing is, ako pud personally, I also started or I also kumbaga experienced network marketing when I was 16 years old. Papansin na <laughs> sa mga sa mga hilig mag speakers no or like gusto mag share ng inani mga butang is ni agi jud sila network marketing even mm-hmm. even chinkitan went through network yeah. marketing mo na isa po sa mga sought out speakers sa Philippines when it comes to finances and business so ako na po mga own insights about it and the audience already knew by the way we currently have around 1400 people watching us right now and i'm really sure that they are interested to know your thoughts imuhang personal thoughts about kaning mga network marketing. What are your thoughts about it? But is it a good platform for them to try it out? And what should they consider before joining? Perfect. Um, I never regretted na na sued kung network marketing because that's how I discovered my passion sa speaking. Um, kato lang na time, di ka maging speaker kung wala kay downline. Kay, kung wala kay invite, kung wala kay, kung di ka upline, di ka pwede mag-speak. Diba? The only time makaspeak ka is if naka resulta naka apply ka or apply ka or naka downline whatsoever um and mo to kung drive dude like kuno ako mo speaker and ana and ato pa ako na discover na murag lami adi sa feeling no nga maka inspire lami kay sa feeling na maka impact og tao ato na ako nakita ba nga murag lam murag murag di ko like ma feel mo gani mo kung passion ni mo like it, it just it will just strike you ba like linga linga man eh linga kay mag train linga kay mag guan um, so, ato yun na ako nakita kong passion And also, that's how I learned how to sell yun Kaya, dito ko kibawa mga maligya Dito ko, mauwaw dito ko Ambot, di ko ka-explain, no? So, network marketing taught me selling Building a team, leadership, speaking um, All of those things So, ako advice is like When you go to network marketing The first, ang initial magudana is like Mukita ka, money, money, money Whatsoever, no? 
if kanay mo mindset, I'm gonna be telling you na di ka magdugay and you're gonna be ma burn out ka kung kanay mo mindset. Katulang nga time yun, um, moto akong first mindset, but when I felt na muragula, I'm growing man, na usab gira mindset. Like, I'm doing this not because I wanna make money, but I'm doing this because I wanna learn. So, ang itabu ato, nang, nang, nang recruit ko, nag, 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 nag present ko, nag strangering ko, with the intention na, I'm gonna do this even if wala kui sales. No? Because I want to grow. No? So, it is something good na, um, pilagro investment ana 5,000, 10,000, 20,000. If you think na dako na siya, gamay ra kay na siya sa business, gamay ra jud siya. Ang I have joined trainings in the past, um international trainings. Uh some of them cost 300,000, uban mabot og million. Kaya ba kay lang training similar ra sa network marketing. Ingana, like in personality development. So that's why nag, nag, I also message one of our uplines and also like uplines mga top earners and ako bro, uh, keep doing what you're doing because you're, you're, you're literally training them and then libre ra. Like, I attended training sa Mahal Kaayu and then nakita din ako na murag nakalearn man din ako sa network marketing. So you're really blessed. Importante sa network marketing is the growth. You, you, that's your number one priority, no? Um, kay, even if you're earning money right now but you, wala kay, mo na sa network marketing na yung mga uplines because the uplines mango, they're rewarded uh, for training you. So, mona, na, na magoy first mindset ug second my, uh, line nga mindset. Ang first mindset ni eh, ay ang mga upline ra man ako mukita. So, di ko mo trabaho kay ako upline mukita. The other mindset is, yes, mukita ko upline. That's why ako upline is motivated mo train and mo build and mo help sa ako. Ah. Okay, so that was my mindset. That's why I really understood the marketing uh complan sa MLM. And um yun, mo na akong mo na akong advice like you go in to grow um, bonus na lang if mukita ka, no? But if you feel you're growing, just keep doing that because you don't know. Um, you might... Di, di ta, what talk about if mogi na yung path, na uban na mogi na ilang path yun, na uban na ni Agira sila. Okay? So, since we don't know that, importante is ni grow ta. Either way, win-win Japan. Even if ni fail ka, but if ni grow ka, win-win. But if ni sudra ka, with the intention na mukita ka, tapos wakan na yung kamot, wakan ni grow, Oh, sayang gud imong kwarta, sayang gud imong effort gud pagsudra. Not just MLM but any business gud. Like I did not regret ng sud ko insurance kay I understood like how insurance agents sell sa sa, sa real estate. Kay murag ni grow jud ko in every um failure nga akong I, I went through gud. Kana. Ayan. So at least guys, uh, network marketing in terms of training ground isa po na sa mga mga huge benefit no because well, so network marketing you are going to sell products, you're going to invite people, handling rejections and maabot ang point na i-invite na ka to become a speaker to speak in front of a lot of people to share your testimony and the product and the compensation plan inana na mga levels no and there is even mga training programs and speaking of training programs uh, by the way oh, would like, yeah. would like to add lang sa network marketing ah. Um the reason why sa MLM network marketing bati siya sa perception sa Philippines no or murag ang iyang iyang point uh murag ang kubaga mo ka MLM murag hugaw na siya word it is because it's not because of the business model it's because of the unethical ways of recruiting no. Imagine ara good sa una gingnan ko nga uy bay mga unta so ako ni kaon ni adto ko lingkod ko seminar uh, ala una ko ni adto Alas 5 na, wapo kay lunch. Ab, nabuisit ko eh, kay, <laughs> kay kaon, wapo kay lunch, di ba? Uban nga, uy, chicks. So if you notice, that's misleading na. So that is not the right way to build your network because in the first place, you already misinterpret or na mislead na niyong mong prospect. Why would you expect your prospect to even believe in you to help you nga na mislead na mga yung recruiting? And then like, you know, those things. So um, if you are ethical in network marketing that's really the key yes it's difficult okay it's much harder true okay however mo nang giingon nga mo na ara mo sudi mo growth okay if ma overcome na nimo easier na lang yun. if you notice yung mga dagang kit mo kailangan mas successful um karon nga entrepreneurs galing sila sa network marketing sa training ba um so I, what i suggest is you can enter that but do not follow the unethical ways of like recruiting lying whatsoever just to be able to make money, okay? See. 
Correct. Tama, okay. Jude. Just like anything else, Jude, guys, uh, when you enter into a job, napi-uba na mga styles sa mga managers or mga co-workers na dili, Jude, ina na kanindot. So you can also learn from that by not doing what they're doing because you know that it's wrong. It's the same thing with anything in business, ethics, in network marketing, in insurance ba. No, in fact, I also mentioned this na naiuba na mga insurance agents, they should be, they should, and the, the word is should, na mag-present o mga insurance products na bagay dapat sa kinahanglan sa kliyente. Pero again, because nga of business and sometimes ang unethical ways of doing it is that they're selling products na dakog commission para sa ila. Dili ingon yeah. na makatabang sa kliyente. And because of that, naiuba na, na allergic na hinoon sa kaning mga insurance and it's also not just that specific space it's also it's also happening in network marketing in like unsa ba um in business and even ang cryptocurrency and forex atong dire mangud sa Mindanao na magoy nahita mo dire na mga scams before that they're using yeah. that as a front face but it's not really true mo na allergic na pod ang uban tao about ana because they're not really they don't know na dili jud dey to tinuod but because of the unethical way of marketing it Na na siya. And since, Fibo, na mentioned po ni mo na you are passionate about training other people and you're also passionate about learning. No, Lisod man kung kayo magtuglo tag isa kabutang kung wala na ito nagihan, wala na ito nabawaan. And you also invested a lot of your time, energy, effort, and definitely money to attend trainings, international trainings, and most of them. Ang question siguro is, do you find trainings ba, kaning mga paid trainings, programs, seminars, or whatsoever, to be an expense or is it considered to be an investment yeah wonderful wonderful question no? so it's 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 kind of like asking yourself no na anong muskwila man ka no um uban mo muskwila kay para mas successful whatsoever kaya lang ang mindset mo good before is like after you graduate murag you're free now and then that's why people don't go up na because after you graduate now, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm going to stop learning now and, um, you know, just, just work. But the, the, the reality is learning should be a never-ending thing, right? And the, 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 ma, ma, the shift, yun, is, um, number one, like, the economy has changed. Like, delay yun atong school. Like, for example, Facebook ads, digital marketing. Do you think that's in books, in marketing books? Of course not. Right? So it, it, well, as a marketing books, you should create content, you should build your brand. Uh, the, the very theoretical thing, no? Um, so, to answer your question, for me, it's an investment. In fact, I want to share with you this story. Um, I don't have, okay, before, I don't have a house and car. I made my first million. I made multiple millions. I never bought my first house, first car. In fact, I even invested 1.5 million in my education. I joined a mastermind uh, sa Gawas International. And I love to share this story because when people make their first million, mindset, bilo ko sa kinan, bilo ko sa uh, whatever. Pero nagpasalamat siguro ako, mindset ato is, um, I, I, I was learning mga good personal finance, kapag pubrip ako. So that's why it's very important to learn, okay, even if you don't have uh, finances yet because once you have finances kibaw na ka how to allocate Al- uh, kibaw na magugo atong a time like um, if ever I'm gonna make money I already know asa mapunta okay um, so there are different ways so you can invest you can invest in the stock market you can invest in real estate in cryptocurrency in whatsoever but I'm gonna share with you one thing okay what investment ba can double um, every year okay so stocks Pwede, but um, really sure. Like if you invest in Jollibee, in, in blue chip stocks, some 12% per year average growth. In real estate, you just get 6 4, 4 6%, right? Um, and sa business, yes, business. Pero here's the thing. When you invest in your education, butang na to, um, you attended a seminar, you paid 100,000 for that seminar. And let's say before the seminar, you were making 100,000 a month. Okay. After the seminar, you learned how to market online. You learned why your products are not selling, why customers are not buying. And then you basically implemented the learnings. Here's my question. Is it possible na 100,000 a month ni mo na income because of that seminar, maging 200,000 na siya because of your implementations yung bagong learnings. Okay. 
the answer is yes. Pili return na anak. That's infinite because you're gonna one time ra ka ni bayad and then ang return ni mo, ang ang ang, ang growth si mo business is exponential. And you can just implement you can implement it multiple businesses. So, first is you're paying for seminars. A lot of people because are not fans of it. So, some are fans, some are not. I am huge fan. That's why I believe na people should pay for my trainings. Um, I want to discuss later on paid versus free, no? But the reason why you're paying for these trainings, kasi these are not trainings na you just read from the book. Number business. What is business? Business is a da, 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 da. profit. Profit is the moment na sa skwilahan, mo definition, memorize ni mo, money business, money profit. That, what? Gani mang good, you're paying for experience. Kumbaga, you attend that seminar, seminar your information, pero that's not just, in, I don't treat it as information, I treat it as experience shared to you. I treat it as time. Time saver siya, kumbaga. So, kaya ako mindset yun dato, um, I, I learned it from one mentor. Yan ang magutong, uh, ano yan ang magutong, uh, I, I learned it from, I forgot the name, no? but, ano siya nga, if you're, if gamay pa yung tita, the first investment, to yourself is your education because it's easier to increase your skills and and make two times three times five times ten times rather than to invest that in somewhere else and then just you just wait so if gamay pa mong kita importante nga pa ipa increase mong skills para mas taas mong earning potential no so that is that's my priority second i want to address this free versus paid ano mo bayad mo kung training nga na may libre I want to tell you na mo na ang mindset sa uh, money mindset ng papa. In fact, um, ano to? Uh, the fees to mag Craig Ma conference ni Bo Sanchez so, na paid man na siya mag thousands or something. Mo na mo na papa ano mo attend mo kana na may libre sa YouTube, na ba? Mo na kami ingon betaw na um, ganong mo attend ka concert ni Daniel Padilla na man YouTube, na ba? Maring ba? But I want to share with you why you ha it's it will help you succeed more if mo bayad ka rather than libre. Okay? If imo Okay, nani siya. The, re- the reason why mas mo succeed ka if mo pay ka, it's because my mentor told me na the, uh, when your audience will pay, your audience will pay attention. Okay? How many of you experience na libre ang training, then libre ra siya, Imong commitment of implementing and learning is very, very low. But since you paid for it, murag, ay, sayang man akong ibayad, so maning kamot siya ko, ako dyan yung tunan, ako dyan yung implement. In fact, um, I I would rather pay um, rather than get it for free since sayang ang information mong libre. Less you get information but you're not even gonna listen to it. There's a lot of YouTube contents out there but trust me, you haven't even searched on Facebook or on YouTube like how to grow your business or how to run Facebook ads. It's, 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 oh, everything is there. But I believe you also did not implement kay commitment wala man. So that's why I'm really into paying for information and also getting people pay because I know when people pay, you are more likely to follow through and implement because learning is everywhere. But implementation, mo na ang expensive. Execution, mo na ang expensive. And to let you execute and implement, you have to have that kind of investment that is the reason why mga traditional brick and mortar businesses are more likely to succeed rather than mga network marketers why because sa network marketing magpagawas sa 4000 kuy ka ko magpagawas kag 1 million sa restaurant pwede ba dena ay gikapoy na ko dena ko trabaho oy sa network marketing gamay ra magud mong gipagawas okay if you get what if you get uh, what that means so mo na ang point sa mo na importance of like paying because you're actually committing okay yeah correct Wow, very good thing. <laughs> Guapo to na analogy na magpagwas ka 4,000 na capital compared mo sa 1 million pesos sa isa ka restaurant business. So, kung gikapoy na ka, dilid yung kape, basta-basta mo inguna, undahan mo na na to ni. <laughs> and ako, ako ang imuhang capital na gigawas. Really, really good analogy. And also, to to add lang po sa katong kanang mga paid na online programs and free, if you're going to search in Google and YouTube, that's a great resource. And in fact, isa po na sa mga gina-recommend. Yun nga lang, the problem with that is that sa kadaghan po ng information na na dito, you won't know kung saan ang imong piliin, kinsa ba imong paminawan, and then kung updated po ba itong mga, mga, mga information yung ipanghatag dito, that's what you're getting kasi sa mga paid online programs is the experience and the practicality 
kumbaga dili na ka maghuna-huna kung mag-work baka ani kundi na na siya case study to prove that it's already working so that's the huge advantage when it comes to that and so guys when it comes to education do not think that education stops when you are finished school sa high school ba college pa because kinahanglan jud kay na siya in order for you to grow as a person and if you want to be successful in terms of your business and finance kinahanglan jud ang education not academic education but practical ba kani mga street smarts mga inana na mga discovery yeah. yes no so obviously karon especially karon kung naa kay pangandoy na magkaroon kag negosyo or if you are if you are into sales i also believe kasi na when it comes to making money fast The fastest way are two ways. Number one is business. You start your own business. Or ikaduha is musulod juga sa sales. No, so I've been into sales for the past I don't know how many years of my life already. As an as a like an employee at the same time kana nasa self employees and network marketing and sa kar even if you have your own business kinahanglan di hapon kag halin kaya kung wala kay halin charity na sa ang iyo negosyo dili na negosyo. So speaking of which, no. In terms of like business and sales, one of the things na kinahanglan jud matunan sa mga tao is I believe ang marketing jud, especially specifically is kaning mga Facebook advertising, social media marketing, de ba? Dili na tong mga traditional, okay? Especially kung gamay palatong capitalization. And Fibo, we I got to know you from that kasi. Now when I attended your seminar, I also got your Facebook ads na naakay inato. 2018 pa yata to eh, no? I was still working as a sideline pa ni siya kaning the present karon na full time na. So karon, ang pangutana, ang pangutana is in terms of social media marketing, online digital marketing or Facebook advertising. Um how does it work ba in terms of concept and why is it really practical for everyone to learn about this thing? Okay, wonderful. So ingani siya. Um The power of social media, not just Facebook ads, but basically social media like Google, TikTok, YouTube, whatsoever, they have what they call magodang artificial intelligence. I want to compare this with the traditional media like um, TV, whatsoever. They don't have AI. You cannot put an AI sa TV. That was unsan ko orang kamera yung monitor kan tanaw ng TV nsa ba? So um, ang 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 e ganis ha. When when I really studied this, like anak ko, ah, oh, this is so brilliant. You brilliant, you kaya siya paghimo. Sabto nta mo. Um, sa TV, okay. Di makibaw ang TV kung lalaki ka, babae ka, pili idan di mo, unsay ganahan ni mo. So basically sa TV ipakita tanan. Okay, ikaw ko no, lalaki ka, okay. Tapos ang commercial kay napkin, no. So malipay ka kana kung commercial pang babae, kung commercial kay mga sa mani kanang Basta ka ng pambabae ng mga commercial. Nung malipay ka ka na, dili, di ba? So you're gonna get bored. You're... Mga ba ito nang you're, get... you're, you're used to bag commercial gani? Uh, kaunta, tanaw ta, Facebook, whatever, nasa TV. Sa, fi... sa, sa social media, mga on the other hand, no? Ang ganin ni siya. Si Facebook, tunga na siya, okay? Duha ka customers si Facebook, duha ka book yung i-please. Okay? The first nga yung i-please, kaya mga users kamo okay now the the goal of facebook is para you continue to use the platform kung magamo taas imo watch time mo taas imo usage time kay mo na goal sa tanan media platforms mo taas the advantage lang here ni facebook kay ipakita every news feed is different every phone is different every account is different so if ikaw mahilig kag for example ako ako na lang hilig ko boxing ay di ko kibaw boxing nga but malingalog man ni Pacquiao si gawas ako ah no timing pa jud gayo kay kada matug ko tan-aw og man ni Pacquiao um murag for how many days pero may pakita at the same time kana padung na ko mutug man ni Pacquiao gawas <laughs> Tapos buta na rapod ko kay di pa kita man. <laughs> so kind of crazy because if if I go naman sa to um to to the phone of my of my partner puro skincare, di ba? Tapos ato naman sa umama mga luto-luto naman pud. So if you notice every news feed naka-optimize gyud kun sa ganahan. Now here's my question. Would you prefer ba? Okay? Mo adto kag TV and then ipakita lang bisag unsa dara or would you prefer nga na ay own TV? pero personalize siya sa kada tao. Maunang maadikta sa Facebook, maadikta sa YouTube, but 
there's a good and bad thing, no? Uh, but at, at the same at the end man god it's like a gun ba is a, is gun a good or bad thing depende kung kinsa gakupot and then it's it's ikaw ikaw gyapon no so ik, is facebook or social media good or bad thing depende ra gyapon nimo on how you use it but if you think of it nindot siya because di na ta kailangan mangita og mga show og mga video nga nindot because i optimize na ni facebook kung sa pinaka nindot sa pananaw niya sa imuha based on your history no karon um mo na first consumers Second is advertisers. Now, kung puro sa kung puro sa users rang malipay, wa say kita si Facebook. So kailangan mo kita ang advertisers. So how will the, how will Facebook do it? Okay? Dapat mo kita ang advertisers. So for example, let's say imong ad kay basketball. So mo ta na Facebook asa man imo ipakita? Pili ka targeting basketball. So ipakita niya sa mga users nga hilig og basketball. Now win-win gyud ni siya ano man. Because basketball nga product ipakita nimo sa hilig og basketball malipay ang advertiser yes or no malipay kay you know gamay lang ilang bayaran sa ads o palit din ang customer now ikaw advertiser ka ah sorry sorry user ka malipay ba ka malipay ba ka nga hilig kag hilig kag basketball tapos ang ads na makita nimo basketball of course kaysa basketball tapos unsa man ni sandal man ni pambabad so man ni di ba So you're happy as a user na you you see ads um na imong ganahan. So win-win gyud siya. So that's why um when when Facebook rolled this out like uh kalimutan sa tong year 2012 or what, mga early ana skyrocket gyud, buto gyud siya. Because advertisers had the had the power to like target before mango before Facebook, it was Google. Ang Google mango search engine siya. So, ang search engine mura siya ka nang nagrun kag ads tapos maghuwat lang kanay mo search ana. So, kung wala mo search ana, uh, wala traffic or wala visitors. Sa Facebook, pattern in pattern interrupt siya. So, mura siya kuan. Even if the person, for example, ikaw, hilig ka basketball, tapos wala ka nang itag sapatos, basketball shoes. Pero when I, when nagpakita kon mog basketball shoes boom it created desire so mo na ang facebook karon if you notice out of all social media platforms facebook yun ang number one because you can sell something even if the customer has no intention of buying before but it created a desire for you to buy murag tv bitaw murag pattern pattern interrupt kaya lang optimized customized siya so because of that like hmm, that's why Naibanan, hadlo ko kay gitrako ni Facebook, gitrako. For me, ako magpatrako. All my kuan, magpatrako. Nga naman, kung di ka itrack, okay? Bisa kung saan nalang ipakita sa iyo, puro basura ang mga, mga kuan. That's why gitrack ka, but it, they follow privacy stuff man yapon. So, ako, I just trust them. I want to be tracked because I want Facebook to show me videos na akong ganahan. Dili kay bisa kung saan nalang ipakita. Dara. Okay? So, money purpose of the users, advertisers. I don't know if I answered the question, medyo pabian kay Kono, but... <laughs> yeah, it, it, it did. It, it actually did. Okay? Actually, uh, if, you, if we think about it, guys, when we watch TV, gamitong sa itong mga traditional media, it's just going to pop ads na ginabayaran sa mga advertisers sa mga big companies, and then bahala na kung kinsa ang maka-view. No? Kung di, maski na dili siya bagay sa muha, pero since gibayaran man nila, bote mo makita sa TV. And kanang reach, no? kanang moment good na ginabaligya o sa isang mga media companies na inani kadaghan na mo mga subscribers, inani kadaghan na nagtanaw sa mo ang mga salida. So mo na isingit na to inyong advertising diri. Pero in terms of the cons- customer or the viewer, dili jud ingon na bagay to sa imuha tungod kay it's very random. That's a different thing when it comes to like social media, TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, or whatsoever is magpakita siya sa imuha kung unsa ang imuhang interest. No? And that's also reason why if you're following like for example sa the present mga bisaya ng mga videos pag once mag-post po mga content and yeah, you keep on engaging you keep on liking you keep on sharing every time natin ipagawas mas dako din ang chance mo pop sa inyong news feed tungod kay nakita man gud sa algorithm sa AI so shall kay sa pamilyawan pero mo ang terminology na mo na imong mga hilig no mm-hmm. and that is an advantage actually if kita if we want to start a business that is something that we can maximize No. So in fact, sige, gamito na to ni na ano, another question po at Pibo is this. Go ahead, go ahead. Isa man gud sa imong hang gina-teach sa imong mga programs is also people uh, teaching people how to maximize. 
social media in order for them to garner sales, in order for them to have better in terms of business performance. No? So when it comes to like Facebook advertising, do you think and is it practical for any industry, any to use Facebook advertising? If yes, why? If no, why? Ayan, sige, go. Perfect. I love the question. Um, ingani, I'm having a hard time answering it now because I would like to say yes, but thinking of it, di gudya pwede yes. Mano man, ingani lang good. Kung nakay, kung nakay sari-sari store, like, mag-ads mo ka, or mamalig ka kag lumpia, or kanang, uh, kanang quick-quick, or kanang, sa na, kanang fishbowl. Oh. Ads ka, marag, wait lang, marag, di siya make sense, right? <laughs> so, <laughs> so, mga ingana nga type of uh, businesses, I don't, it, uh, um, how, how can I say this? Mag-depend, mag-go siya mong product, okay? So, yung ano siya, if you have a business, tapos, nakay brand, ano na lang, nakay brand, then, pwede ka mag-ads because they're buying because of the brand. But if you're the, like a commodity, for example, um, karinderia ka, like why, the, <laughs> Diba? Like, why would I travel 30 minutes just to eat in your restaurant? Pero kung karinderia ka, tapos pinakalami na karinderia mo, ni mo brand, it make, na, it's make it makes sense now for you to run ads because you're now different. It's, it's still the same food, okay? But you, kumbaga, there is now a reason why ikaw over the rest. So you have to ask yourself first is, what makes you different? Why would I have, why would I buy your product over the competition? Now, if you can answer that, then you can run ads. But if you cannot answer that, then it doesn't make sense of you running ads. You're just wasting money. Okay? Kay commodity ka. So you have to separate yourself from the competition why you're buying from us. So, but once you have that brand, okay, brand is not just a name. Okay? It's like, it's like an identity. It's like a reputation, man, good. It's not just a name. Na ako'y brand, ako'y logo. No, 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 no. It's like, what makes you different? Kasi nakalahi sa imo, ha? No? Um, once you have that, then you, you can you can now run ads. Kay dili na commodity like na reason na why they're they're gonna buy from you over your competition. Ayan. So guys, depende po na sa inyo hang business type, sa inyo hang product, no? So you have to you have to audit kumbaga. Dili kay ingo na yes, Facebook advertising is good, but it's it's not for everyone. It's the same thing with investing also. Eh? Like when it comes to investing in the investing, the country kay pamaagi to put your money into whatever platforms. It may be the stock market, cryptocurrency, mutual funds, pag-ibig MP2, blah, blah, blah. Pero magdepende po na siya as imong risk appetite, kung sa bagay sa imuha, o kung sa imuhang exposure sa market, o pila ang imuhang kapital. So just like anything else, you have to really audit yourself. And going back to education, but when you go through like the personal development stuff, that will help you, Manggood, to identify who you are. And it's faster for you to know kung sa'y mga bagay na butang sa imuha para mas dali po ka mo-generate kung income. No? Sige. So, kanipod, Fibo, is that when it comes to ano ba? When it comes to being a millionaire. <laughs> Maulaw mo, Jodani. <laughs> Sige lang, ias na to. When it comes to uh, being no, a millionaire, in terms of experience, in terms of life, style changes no when you became one of the millionaires in the world first of all how did how did it feel and then number two unsa imo ang realizations after you have achieved it do you think that it's the end game is it there's is it is there more to it than just meets the eye or is there something that you want to do more paba besides what you are doing right now got it oh i like i like this question interesting okay um, I realized something. If you want more money to be happy, and I'm going to tell you right now, more money doesn't equal more happiness. Um, and I'm going to explain. Ha? Interesting kini siya question. Because sa una mang good, like, um, init kayo. So akong damgura sa una is mag-aircon. And then, <laughs> Nalang aircon, no? Next sa madam ko kay upgrade sa bed. Kaya kung bed sa una, basta sige, adjust, adjust. Basta, yan, upgrade ang bed. And then like, you're you're always magod, kana bitaw ang morning madam ko, and then once na-reach na ni mo, naturally magod in us, we look for something different. So murag, akong kwarto karon, 
mas nind- mas comfortable na akong room karon kaysa sa normal hotels kay mo akong ganahan but murag ganam gyap ko mag hotel like ha di ko kasabot why um <laughs> and mo na ako na realize na ha akong level of happiness karon is just the same as before now, for sure uh, mas happy ka if you got your needs covered compared to someone nga wala ko gibon sa unsaw kanon ug okay so number one, um I, w- what i mean by money doesn't equal happiness is like if cover them needs you no know, you can kumbaga you can eat ingana di na nimo na unaon everything is surplus na lang siya surplus na lang like excess na lang siya and in fact i'm going to tell you it does not mean at mo nang realize um not just for me but also with my friends and stuff it doesn't mean if dato ka you're financially free okay, why because um i have a friend who's making like millions a month but yang gasto millions pod ay ay so ay. karon he is still in the rat race no nagyapon siya sa rat race na nagkukod siya kay siyempre dako akong bills i have to work hard i realize na ako gani mo rag anak ko nga mas free pa mo ko sa una nga 10,000 akong living expenses so I had like more than a million in my bank account kay you know I was free no so muna akong na realize and if you play like the cash flow game no na more money doesn't mean more freedom okay you have to also reduce your expenses no um so what's the main question <laughs> medyo ko ano um learning so um in as a millionaire yeah so that's number one. um wait lang. ako ako yung organize ang thoughts kay medyo ay, medyo new ang question and then like grants ako sa question kay nagkan ko na realize before but wala gyud na ko compile number one is money more money does equal more happiness so it's good for you to make money para ma sustain your expenses but do not aim to get to have more money for you to become more happy okay number two is sa tong second Um, more money doesn't equal Financial. more freedom. Yeah. Kaya depende sa nasa mga expenses. Okay? So that's why if you notice, uh, gito dulo ni John, na uh, it's important to be able to build your passive income. By the way, when you say passive income, it's income na bisag di ka mo trabaho na agya pong ikita. So the goal, if, even up until now, I'm gonna be transparent with you. I'm, I I can say to myself, di pa ko financially free. Okay? I have money, okay? But Akong passive income is not, or I would say cash flow passive income is not more than my expenses yet. Okay, I bought a I bought I bought an apartment building, pero kana apartment building, ako pa pa ayuhon, ako pa pa renovate. So technically, wapas yung cash flow. I have stocks, I have cryptocurrency, but it's not producing me dividends. Um, that's more my my ano. So I'm I'm, I'm talking about cash flow. Business for me is not really passive. It's more of like. Active. Um, namagoy business good na automatic na siya. But as of now mangod it needs my mental it needs me mangod. I mean it needs um what's up explain like for example laundry and then you will you will, when I explain business that is passive bisag wala ka like for a year produce yung income. Nga na kanang usually mga laundry or mga basa nga na no. So, um, that's the goal. The goal is your passive income, um, cash flow passive income, not capital appreciation. Dili pa sabot na mo palit kag property, baligyan ni mo for higher because what I mean cash flow, that means if you are generating cash flow 100,000, mo expenses 100,000, that's financial freedom because even if you don't work a single day, you're gonna make money. But there, there are two ways of m- mostly... Um, For example, ah, sa, sa property, I follow the 1% rule. No? So if the property is 10 million, um, the goal is to generate 100,000 monthly passive income from that. So just imagine, you need 10 million to generate 100,000 passive income. And karon wa pa na-renovate ang kuan. So, <laughs> um, but it's normal good na sa start, you build your active income first. Kaya mas dali mang good, i-build yung active income. Um, And then make it so big para 
your active your your income your savings will be the one to work for you na na magproduce ug mga eggs and the, uh, trust me the eggs realize ko grabe ano kay lang og 10 million mo hatol sa 100,000 mura man nagkanang usa ka dot oy nga mura ya na ba so um mo na mo na ang goal uh, for you to achieve freedom yeah, <laughs> yeah. i like it We really like it when you mention that more money does not equ- uh, equate to financial freedom. So guys, more than we mentioned that, plus we have 100,000 pesos a month, 200,000 pesos a month. But you also have to consider your expenses, your lifestyle, right? And then if you are also, kung bago insured, na bago if in case na you might have some unexpected things or unwanted things, you're also prepared. I'm not an insurance agent. Si Pibo sa delete na punta insurance agent, but we see the importance of having that. And maximizing is mo na sa mga investments. Mo po ng reason na si Gimi ug push no sa among mga videos na it is very important for us to increase our income, increase our asset para kato atong mga income and we have good financial management ng extra mo na tong gamiton pang invest sa mga butang that will give us dividends para mo abutang panahon siguro 40, 40 years old na ka, 50 years old na ka, dili na ikaw ang maning kamot ba? na maabot na sige kag paningkamot to earn money kundi ang katong kwarta na ananing kamot to generate money for you obviously natay makita ng mga Facebook feed mga Instagram or even mga YouTube video saying na mao daw ni ang mga habits sa mga milyonaryo o they wake up 5 a.m. or 4 a.m. magbasag din bro or blah 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 so since you are also you're also doing that you, since you're also a millionaire no Uh, in terms of your running a business naapoy curiosity sa ato ang audience and in fact ako kung gusto po na ako mahibawan what's your habit what's your routine in terms of your life no daily routine ba or strategy so how do you do it pa in terms of routine okay. so um a habit of a millionaire i would say um more 50-50 siya di siya 100% true yun, no um kay ako personally uh di gino kayo matagbuntag kung sa'yo, murag, uh, I tried it na pass, but did you cause kong sustain? Nga na. So, however, there are habits na I, like, dapat yun. Like, number one is this, uh, learning, no? So, I schedule a day, usually, typically, Saturdays, as my learning days. Um, so, I just intentionally block it out para I grab a book, I grab a, I watch a video, I watch a training, I learn. I, I have to learn something. No, it it doesn't have to be business. It can be health, relationships, love, something that can make you grow. No, um, that's number one. Um, second is th- this is this is just me because I was observing mga good like successful people and then like I I also want na nasa ko yung balance ng life ba so it's working out. No, um, you know, jogging or exercising, and I realize, I notice. Oh, kanila ako ng buhaton. If I have a very big project, um, for example, we we did a launch this month. Weeks before yana, the workout nako. Kaya ano man, because I notice na if I work out, if I if I go to the gym or I exercise, my energy increases. I have more stamina to to take on the day. So. Mo na ko motivation ang uh, ano workout so I can do more kay I notice man musaka kung stamina ba murag mo kusgan bitaw ko murag mo abtik ko um number three is good food uh medyo weird lang kay mo yung kwani kay di ko tigulay no uh, pero food affects us, affects your energy good kay for example si ka sugar well mo sugar mo japon ko but uh aware lang ba control ba like sige sugar you know, what happens you have a sugar spike and then muna og imong ko and then weak na kay ka and then see kag carbs kag kanun and then after ni mo ka on busog ka tugo na ka you know those things i i i notice na dili ra ang time ang scarce energy is also scarce food because even if you have the whole day pero wala ka energy you cannot you can't do do the things food no so mo na akong mo na akong kuan mo na akong um na realize kay i have time I I I can I can ako mga good ako philosophy is um, if I can accomplish an eight hour work to two hours why not why work eight hours two hours na ako mo work so mo gina ako mindset na dapat pas pas kong trabaho I don't have to work eight hours um kaya lang kaya ba si mo energy 
So mo, nakaon ka daghan, bati mo kaon, puro, puro whatever, hugaw ka yung kanon, uh, fast food. So, mo affect na si my energy if you notice um, sila, sila Tony Robbins, si Nanana, they have this green juice and all of those things. And I do it not just to, you know, for my energy, but you feel good, man, good. Lahi yung pamati, iba mo raglami yung pamati. And ano ko, okay, let's, I'm gonna continue doing this. So, so yun, th- those are, Um, some of my habits. <laughs> Yan. So obviously, guys, uh, actually, makadelate yung kuan ng na-mention ni mo katong very first thing or very first answer which is dili ka morning person or dili ka malisod ka. <laughs> ako po, guys, mo ako ako a very huge struggle. Though sometimes kaya siya pero dili so siya inconsistent. But at the end of the day, it's really more about conserving your energy, not just the time, prioritizing. But time management is really more about prioritizing or prioritize management, as they say. And yeah. if you can finish, if you can finish eight hours of work in two hours, why not? No? Yeah. I, I also, you wake up so you can do more. So, mali na. Kung kaya na ko siya mahuman sa duha ka oras, Ano ang trabaho po ko whole day? Ano ang sayo po ang kumata? Ko, I can just accomplish. It does, di lang mag-good na ang effort or the time that you allocate. It's your productivity. It's your accomplishment. It's your results. No? So, I also would like to add, I forgot to, ano this, I think this is number one. Good sleep. Yeah, not good sleep. Great sleep. Okay? Um, I notice if I have bad sleep, I cannot think. As an entrepreneur, I realize, I have a team na mag-good ka ron. Um, I, kumbaga, Ano na lang. Imagine you're entrepreneur tapos kung cool ka, wala kay kamot, wala kay tiil. Ang narin utok. You can still be a successful entrepreneur because all you need is your brain. That's why the job of an entrepreneur, 90% of the time is thinking. It's creative thinking. Sabi nga Anna Gay Henry Ford, that's why most people don't want to become an entrepreneur. Don't engage with it because it's the most difficult job. Problem solving. Okay? So because of that, um, I dapat alert you go. Dapat like, I have good sleep I can think fast. I can... solve problems and um, if I don't have good sleep, wala mag- kamatay na mag-workout o maglutaw ka, saya ng oras. So, yeah, good sleep is really a critical ano sa akin. That's why sleep, for me, I think that's the the number one. Kay, if you have bad food, you have bad sleep. If you have if you don't exercise, you also have bad sleep. But if you have a healthy lifestyle, it contributes to good sleep as well. So, yeah. Ayan. So, guys, importante matulog, ha? Masig mo. <laughs> Sige na. Tag- Paring kamot. Ah, ingon mang good ni Sir John. Kaya kailangan tayo magkarunog extra income. Di na punta matulog. Di na punta sa practical. So, 8 hours, 6. Depende kung sa inyo ha. Number of hours sa kinangalan mo matulog. Basta you get things done. Nowadays, yeah, you, don't, don't need, ano, you don't need more time of sleep. It's more quality of sleep. Okay, yun. <laughs> Ayan. Quality of sleep. Re- sa panahon karon dili na jud ingon na time based ang results is really more about productivity what can you finish sa panahon na mataka that's also the reason why i really like the philosophy of Gary V na ang na mention mag- when i say Gary V dili si Valenciano guys ha it's Gary Vaynerchuk, <laughs> it's Gary Vaynerchuk which is uh, an entrepreneur sa sa Gawas sa US na mention mag- niya dito na it's really not about the number of hours that you're awake it's about what you do with the number of hours that you awake which is Makes sense. Matalagi kang sayo, pero wak po kayo ginahin mo na productivity, it's still useless. Sayang kayo yung muhang oras. So, Fibo, thank you so much. Same one time before we officially end this Facebook live stream. Any last words that you would like to share to us? Yeah. Um, first off, before I share uh, my last words, noise, I would like to thank you, um, Jan Ocampo, for inviting me. And also, um, si, si Jan Mangod is, I found him like two, three years ago. Um, and I was amazed by his content. And I'm, kumbaga, ni, si Jan, na, he's learning from me. I'm also learning from Jan as well. And I would say na I've been following his content. I've been, kumbaga, kauban ta, uh, parehas ta duha, learning from him as well. Personal finance, business, marketing. Kay, I really like how, how many of you would agree, no, na, kanang, may kasi siyang explain no? And, uh, yeah. we have experience. And kanang, sayo na kayo understand ba, no? And, Kumbaga, if you're watching here, no, I would, I just would like you to for a, say thank you to John. Kay, kung kung sa tinutuan na ilang, like, bihira ra kayo mga tao may ani, uh, willing to share what they learn. Tapos may pagin mo explain, guapo pagyod, no? So, <laughs> so, um, 
kung like I want you to thank you John kay imagine if wala siya asa na lang ka asa na lang ka makuwag information ng ani na makatabang gyud sa imong um with my last words no is I always believe that for every crisis there's always an equal amount of opportunity in fact um before the pandemic we had scheduled events na nakabook na hotels flights uh we ran ads as well um and then Very funny, very very funny, because that was like Thursday. Yeah, Thursday afternoon we arrived to Manila to conduct our event, um, and sa gabi eh, na announce yung terte nga mag lockdown. Okay, so ni abut ni Manila. Um, ane na lang. I brought my team. I don't know how many we are, basa daghan ni. And then we brought a baggage na mga more than hundred kilos. Okay, daghan kami kita lang, no? So Abot ni hapon, nibalik ni sa buong gabi. <laughs> Kaya lockdown man. no? And uh, it was, mungkin itong time mura kong gatanga because um, murag, I don't know what to do. Kaya nakaschedule namin, nakaplan out namin for the year. no? Uh, murag, what tayo? So many. Tapos event canceled. Like, oh, we cannot cancel the event because we paid already for the hotel, for the flights, for ads, for uh, everything. Like, This is gonna be a uh, uh, grave am loss, no? Yeah. Um, to make the long story short, we were able to go on, go on good. Like the the truth is, um, na, na actually na shock the whole team because, kanang, um, I, I don't know if you remember, we were doing the charity entrepreneurs charity summit. Okay, I'll be transparent with you. During that time, I didn't know what to do yet. So like, while not doing what to do yet. Like, why don't I just create a cause, a project? So it's a new project. Anna is like I interviewed entrepreneurs, and then I sold those interviews as a course, and then 100% of the proceeds we donated it to the frontliners and also to the kababayans who needs help. No, so I was helping like number one the entrepreneurs, kay affected nilang business and they need inspiration. They so mo na interview na ko mga mga maayong mga people para ni Jan, no, and then second nakatabang puta sa mga mga kuan and fulfilling din siya and na shock din team because i was paying them i was paying them payroll salary to edit the videos to build this sales process and stuff but uh, they just knew like um no, not they but how editor kung sir wala di te kita tong time sir no ko oh <laughs> and then i was just i was just paying you but um nakita gyud ni ang shift because like months after that or i don't know when good exactly weeks after that um na turn around gyud namo And among ano na lang among gikita di, for um uh, for a year kay ma, na earn mo in a month just like that and it's 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 just a shift of mindset na for every crisis there's always an equal amount of opportunity so like right now um you can be in the crisis zone or would you rather be in the opportunity zone And finding opportunity, it's your responsibility to look now. Okay, where is the opportunity now? And it was very amazing because um, before pandemic, no one knew how to use Zoom. If we're gonna say, okay, we're gonna have we're gonna have a seminar on Zoom, like ah, I, I even I even uh, na ako friend like bro, uh, nasa sa Manila ako sibu meeting ta urgent na meeting. Okay. Sir ako zoom ni. Ay bro, di ako di ako teki. Um hintayin na lang kita sa Manila. So who at siya mabubuo sa Manila or para para mag mag meeting ni sa coffee, no? Mag coffee shop ni or whatever but um just imagine the transition. So if you notice, kanus a ani ha, kanus ani boom is Zoom. Kanus ani gamit og Zoom, pandemic. Kanus ata ni subscribe sa Netflix. Ab ambot sa inyo, but ako pandemic pa. Kanus ata ni ni gamit og TikTok pandemic. So if you notice, for every crisis, may opportunity. Kung may magsasara, may magbubukas, asa ka pa doon. You could be in the zone wait and see method, like wait for everything to be okay and see what happens next. Or, you would be in the phase na, okay, ari ko diri kung asa ang opportunity karon. So, most of you might be affected. Most of you might be Um, kuna, affected mo sa inyong negosyo, sa inyong sales, but instead of just waiting for it to be over, why don't you maximize this opportunity and look for where that opportunity is? And lastly, I want you to imagine 
that the pandemic will never be over. And in fact, uh, if you remember, John, I asked um, last year's Entrepreneurship Summit, what if this pandemic will last for the next five years? And I remember your answer. Your answer was, first, I don't believe that this pandemic will last for five years, right? And look where are now. Like, we don't even know if... <laughs> because we thought everything to be okay and then boom few months ago lockdown ulit kay nanay delta variant like what the what if next year na napoy charlie variant or whatever variant that is na dili na pud effective ang vaccine we cannot predict okay so instead of just waiting for everything to be okay just expect na okay this will never be okay what should i do now yeah. that is the mindset of an entrepreneur because the truth is you might have the best skills but if you mindset ni mo murag dili ing ana and way of thinking um dili ka makadakop og opportunities ayan <clears throat> so tino well tino ojud sa guys in terms well ang kaning pandemic the wato na lang jud siguro nato no na naa jud sa dere na adto mga bagong variants and whatsoever so we just have to deal with it if we have to wear masks every business is adjusting right now in fact even ang mga even ang mga big businesses they are exploring Digital marketing because they are forced to, not because they wanted to. Kadaghanan sa ilahan, mo na nang nahitabo karon. And when there is an when there is a struggle, challenges, naju mga opportunities inana. 